Hi friends, Tessa here with Artful Colorist. Welcome back to my coloring corner. Today I am doing the Copic Color Challenge for April and the colors for that is uh, Dark Brown at E47, Pearl White at E41, and then uh, Lipstick Natural at E04. Um, there's not really much to say about this coloring. This coloring actually was just basically me laying down colors and kind of playing around and seeing what I could create or what, uh, how I could create one of Angie Grace's coloring uh, line art from her Illuminate uh, for crayons and wide tip marker um, coloring book. And this is volume five for Angie Grace. Uh, I did page number uh, 17 on that. I try to do a little bit of highlighting if you, uh, later on in the video, and for me it just didn't work out. So, eh, I don't know. I wasn't. I mean, I I have to say I've never said I dislike a color. I like all colors, but for me, I loved. I, I thought this palette was beautiful. I thought that the light um, pearl white and the dark brown was great, and then the and lipstick natural was a really pretty rosy pink color, and. I thought they were great, but for me, I just couldn't get in to this piece. I felt like I wanted to add a color, one of the pinks to uh, one of the lipstick pinks to one area, and then when I added it to another area, it was too close to stuff. So maybe I just needed to plan out my placement of colors a little bit better. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, we'll just have to see what May colors are for the Copic Challenge. Um, so with that said, I uh, want to jump into a couple uh, new things that's going on with me. First off, if you have been following my videos in my channel and you've uh, realized um, or know that my dad had open heart surgery, he is doing fantastic. He is now home. He is out of the hospital after two weeks and he is doing fantastic. So on that note, he, um, yeah, we'll just have to kind of take it by ear and see the progress that he's going to be able to have in the next couple months. Um, oh, other news is that I got a webcam. I got a Logitech, I think it's a 9, uh, the C920. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, you know what that means? That means I'm going to be able to do some streaming. I am thinking about doing some live streaming and just kind of color with me. Um, it's kind of like when you do like the meetups and we do colorings together. Uh, it's more of I'm not going to really be doing like tutorials. I'm just going to sit down, have a conversation with you guys and maybe answer some questions. If you guys have any questions throughout the time, I'm kind of playing around with the, uh, kind of what I want to do. So if you have any suggestions or comments or you like that, please hit the like button down below. Cause that will help me gauge if I'm doing something right. Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking we will kind of figure out the, the concept of that in the next, uh, couple weeks. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very, very nervous to be able to do that so we'll have to kind of figure out how and when is going to be a good time for me to be able to do live streaming and what works for everybody else um mostly it's going to be when my son is at school and my daughter is napping so that is going to have to be the kind of caveat to when i can stream i'm thinking about doing it uh on youtube and maybe some on twitch probably more on twitch than youtube but we'll have to see uh yeah so good things are coming down the line um i want to also say uh sorry for the quality of video that i posted last week with my golden gate bridge uh watercolor gouache acrylic gouache kind of painting I, I have to say that I was not in love with that piece. I had a different vision of how it was going to turn out. And I was all of a sudden got into this real big funk of not knowing why or where I was going to head it with this piece. And I had this uh, vision, like I said, to have it totally different. And it just, in the end, turned out to be something totally not what I expected 
And so I might redo that piece again for you guys, um, maybe a couple, maybe a few years down the road, to kind of see, or maybe just for my personal use, I will redo it and post some pictures on Instagram and on Twitter about that. Um, yeah. So this is the piece. Um, I do add some white highlights with a gel pen at the end. I. Um, apologize I just it's been rainy and cold outside and I just kind of been trying to figure out what where my art is going or in you know so I kind of revert back to I like this uh, fact that I was able to do this piece this week for the Copic colors because of the fact that it kind of put me back in my comfort zone of being uh, able to kind of feel relaxed and just kind of color um, I have been doing some watercolors and some doodles with some of those really cool um, neon watercolors that I got and then I did get an opera red from the Turner uh, acrylic wash set um, yeah so I'm excited for some reason I am just in this like mood of doing neon colors and I just the brighter the better and I'm trying to learn how to do uh, take a really bright yellow and add like a glow to it at uh, from like a like a star or something or a light I'm trying to I like that kind of look I think it looks really neat with like a dark background so yeah I'm trying to learn all I can about watercolors and how they work and what they do and maybe it's just I want um, I want them to do something that I'm probably I, I expect the that I'm used to what markers do, and maybe it's like what um, watercolor illustrators are like. Oh God, I can't use markers because they don't work the way I'm used to them. For me, it's like I can layer the layers of marker and get kind of the effect that I want or the effect that I want, but I don't have to, but I don't have to do it. Maybe I'm just so used to it because I, I look at like trying to achieve some kind of like color with Copic uh, markers and I can like under, I don't know how to explain this. It's more of like I am patient with Copic markers or with markers or colored pencils in general and I'm I'm willing to take the time to make the layers and all of that stuff but when it comes to watercolors for some reason I'm not willing to take the time to slow myself down to actually go from A to B to C instead of I want to go to A to Z in one step and for some reason I get the concept with markers and colored pencils but I don't get it with watercolors for some odd reason. Um, maybe I just need to take a step back and kind of just realize that they work a lot the same, but then they don't work the same at the same time. Maybe it's me being disconnected that I have to constantly add water and I constantly need to mix colors if I want a certain color or if I don't have that color. Um, and with the Copic markers, I can just pick up a marker and say, okay, I want this light color, I want this medium tone, and this dark the, this dark tone, and I can make them work together and blend together real easily that way. Um, I don't know. I, I just, for some reason, I am having this weird disconnect between using watercolors in, like, tubes and pans, watercolors in general. I... <sighs> It's so interesting how you can go and create something so beautiful and so interesting with one medium, but then the next medium, it they're both kind of the same concept of layering and mixing colors and blending colors together that you just kind of all just, maybe it's the fact that I just, I'm not using a marker I'm using a brush and the brush seems so foreign it does not seem like it's kind of an entity in itself of my um, like a, like a um, extension of my arm or my hand and I'm just maybe I just need to play around with it I don't know uh, 
Maybe I'll do a couple kind of just on some live streams. We'll just kind of play around with some watercolors. I don't, I don't know. I uh, found also on Amazon these really cool watercolor book coloring books. They're uh, coloring books that are meant for wet mediums, and I want to try them out to see if they do help me kind of get the concept or understanding a little bit better with watercolors. I don't know. I just th I thought there's something to think about. So I'm going to wrap this up and let you guys kind of sit back and enjoy the rest of this video. I know that I kind of rambled on about a lot of different things, but excitement, excitement, excitement for being able to probably do some live streaming with you guys and sit down and have a cup of coffee and just enjoy having a community that we can talk about coloring supplies and art supplies and kind of figuring out what we want to kind of bring to uh, this community of adult coloring and kind of art on YouTube. I just want to say that thank you guys so much for sticking around and being with me for all this time and at soon once I hit a thousand subscribers or maybe even a little bit higher I want to do a giveaway again. Um, so keep that in mind. I wanted to think, kind of throw that out there. Um, yeah, so keep that up. Um, I'll just let you guys sit back and watch the rest of this video. Happy coloring and thanks for coming to my coloring corner. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.